All right, guys, good morning. I'm in the Z. I'm trying to set the camera up so it doesn't fall. I'm going to start my Z up. The keys, yeah. Boom! Let's go. Okay. I'm on my way to Carmel. I have to go fill up the car with gas first um, and stop by Seaside and see if there's a 765LT there in orange. So. Oh! Well there. Hello, me back. It's a little dirty. But hey, you know, I don't see those too often around here. Actually, the interior spec on this thing, actually on point. Yes. Normally they're all black and plain and this. Ooh, that's a nice color. This is cool. I don't really like the new m 4s too much, but this purple M4 comp is sick. This is a sick spec. It even has a tint all the way around. It has the comfort seats. Look at the little carbon wing. That, that, that is a good M4 spec. Alright guys, it looks like we're getting some cars dropped off right now. What is inside the trailer? There's a Turbo S underneath and a Carrera up top. It looks like it's a shark blue Carrera. It still has all the packaging on the inside, even in the clusters. There's plastic around it that you take off. All the seats are covered up. The whole car's covered pretty much still. So when the car comes brand new from the factory, you have to attach all of this, all the hubcaps on each wheel, and then you also have to attach the front splitter right underneath right here to the cars. All right guys, so as most people know, I don't work for, but I work with Porsche Monterey creating some content for them and some TikTok videos. I have the key to this beautiful 2014 Audi R8 in my hand. This is such a beautiful car, Gen 2 R8 V10. Famous Lamborghini V10, of course, honestly, one of the best colors is white for this generation of the R8. I really like white, especially on R8 models. Super clean spec. Go ahead and open the interior. And, well, there you go. It's not too complicated. It's very simple, to be honest. But the best part about this car is, obviously, it has the Lambo V10, but it revs up to 8,500 RPMs. Okay, th this car is stock, so it's not going to be extremely loud. But let's see what kind of exhaust hose we can get. These cars are monsters. A 458, the last Ferrari to be naturally aspirated V8 from Ferrari. Revs up super high. I forget what it revs up to. The prices on these things have gone up. I think they were like 300000 at one point, which is just insane. Because you two years ago, you could buy them for like 160, And then they went up to 300 k So I have a very special car in front of me right now. It's blue. It's a 765 LT. This car is sold. But just look at this thing. Oh my god, the color on this is insane. Alright, so obviously the best part about the car, the butterfly doors that come on this. Now, yes, this is a coupe, but the spider's just as fast, just as cool. But look at this, it has the carbon fiber McLaren Senna seats. And look at the whole interior, you have the tub of the car, Alcantara everywhere, and like some dry carbon fiber literally everywhere. Just look at this thing, and if I come out here, look at this thing, how it looks with the doors up. It is just insane. Oh, open this very carefully. This is one of the craziest cars that I have been around. Look how sick this looks with the doors up. Oh my god, I can't get over this car. And then we also have a Ferrari 360 that is the dealership's car in silver. This is an automatic transmission, not a gated manual. But nonetheless, there's a 765 city right here. That's so sick. Now we carefully put the doors back down because if I do anything to this car, I can't afford it. Oh, very, very gently. Perfect. This is the new RS3. Clean. Ferrari Roma. 
the idle on that thing is actually pretty nice. Oh, and turn off. That is a good color, Mr. 2 Series. Oh, M4 and the E63S wagon behind it. It's a cool duo. That is a Ravish G wagon. It's a Rizvani tank. Yo! Mr. M4 with the cool license plate. What does that mean? Drive mod. So I recorded a clip of the 599 coming into Carmel, but you know, as luck would have it, I didn't get any of it on audio because my microphone wasn't working. So now the car is sitting right here. It's a beautiful Ferrari red. It's one of the cleanest examples I've ever seen. Tan interior, Rosa Corsa. He's a fake TikToker. Yo, that blue on the GTI is sick! Whoa. Green plaid? What? Wh what? That's sick. <laughs> nice. That is one mean sounding Portofino. The Portofino's never had the best lines, but the M looks amazing. The silver on silver spec, amazing. Blue seats with yellow stitching, that's beautiful. I've never been in love with Portofino's, but this one, this one's beautiful. Eurus! Daniel, <laughs> now this is what you call freaking slammed! Oh my goodness, I don't even know if it's an RS7 or what because it's the badge and they all look the same. S7, A7, RS7, the exact same thing. They all have the same interior, they all have the same body. They sound really good though. Twin Turbo V8 and the RS7. It's an amazing car, but check out the plate. Naughty 7, that's cool. Look at this, we have an OG Land Rover Defender right here. Whoa, that's cool. Well, this is cool. I hope my mic is working now. I guess we'll find out later, but we have a chalk GT4 with a GT Silver 718 Spider. So this car is chalk. Same wheels if you guys look at them. These are kind of, it's kind of hard to see, but these are kind of like a dark gray. These are silver. And then this car inside of it has comfort seats. This car has red bucket seats. Check that out. Red bucket seats, I think, is it? Ah, right, this one is a manual transmission. This is a PDK. So for the people who don't know the difference between these two, it's like literally the same car. So the GT4 718 Cayman GT4, this one is a Spider. So it's basically a convertible GT4 with, you know, some like little minor different options to signify the difference other than the convertible top and the hard top coupe. The GT4 has the wing in the back windshield. This guy has no back windshield, but it has a little ducktail spoiler.